Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Thanks for checking in today. We're just heading back from our Colorado trip from Owen's weightlifting competition. There he is back there, ninth place in the nation he got. So uh, sort of celebrating on the trip back here. So just want to do today's video real quick while we're in some traffic jam here. We're gonna talk about July fishing a little bit. Talk about some patterns, some techniques that you want to try. We're coming up next week's gonna be the first week of July and uh, officially sort of getting in the dog days of summer. And, one of the things that you'll notice is um, if you guys have fished very long is July, August, and September are without a doubt the three toughest months to catch bass in. You know, absolutely. The, a lot of different factors for that, but it's a lot of environmental factors. And um, there are still ways to catch them. So I just sort of want to tell you guys what my favorite ways to catch them are. So June, you know, is still a pretty decent month for fishing because you got some late post spawners. You got some fish that have schooled up deeper out there and uh, are still catchable. And then once July rolls around, there's some major changes that takes place in both the deep water fish and the shallow water fish. So we're gonna be talking a little bit about both as far as uh, just a couple different patterns I like to explore for July fishing. Now, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the shallow water uh, options here that you have. Um, one of my favorite ways to catch fish in July and August is to go shallow. I don't. I don't really like fishing deep. I think fishing gets tougher when it's deeper in July and August. So I always try to look for shallow fish and there's always, you know, at least 30%, 30, 40% of the fish that live shallow all summer long in most lakes. And you guys that have watched the videos, you know, you hear me talk about the bluegill spawn and the perch spawn all summer. This is still in effect in July and August. The perch are still spawning heavily and, um, doesn't matter what lake you're in. It can be a lake that's got 10 foot of visibility or 10 inches. You're still gonna have the population of those fish that live in those shallow areas looking for to feed on spawning perch. Now, if you're looking for that type of area, there's the, out of the two shallow water patterns I'm gonna talk about, the spawning perch pattern can take place really good on the lower to mid part of the lake. So what I like to do is I go back into those exact same areas that the bass have spawned in. So if you got some coves off the main lake in clear water, the flatter back ends, uh, you can get back in there in those same areas the bass have spawned and that's where those bluegill are gonna be spawning and that's where you can catch the bass also. And the best way to catch them is on some type of a walking top water, you know, like a Mega Bass Diamantes, Air Spook, something like that, if the water visibility is over about two and a half feet. Now, if the water is dirty, Say you've got you know a foot, foot and a half of visibility, throw a swim jig. Just get you like a green pumpkin with a little bit of orange and chartreuse, uh, and um, you know just throw that swim jig in those same type of areas. Trying to keep it just under the surface. You don't really want to wake the surface with it, or you don't really want to fish it you know out of sight. Just try to barely keep it under the surface. Those are my two favorite ways to catch them. So the other way is to go up into the back of the creeks and the back of the river arms looking for that dirty water. Now, it depends on the lake you're fishing again as far as you know how much dirty water you have available, but whatever it is, try to find the dirtiest water you can find. Get in there with like a small crankbait, some type of a little square bill crankbait like that Mega Bass 1.2 S crank and just fish whatever shallow cover is available. It could be shallow rock, shallow wood, shallow grass, that type of stuff. You'll find in July that you're going to catch a lot more fish in that stained water on a crankbait than any other lure. You catch more than you would pitching or flipping or a spinnerbait and a chatterbait. So those are the two things I look for for shallow water. Now for deeper water fishing, it's all about fishing uh, brush piles. Most every lake out there, we'll talk a little bit about grass, but most every lake out there has got you know some you know level of brush that's been planted either by you know. The state conservation department or private uh, owners but what happens the transition that takes place from june to, to july is the fish will get off of the hard break structures that they're on in june like the drop-offs and that type of stuff in the ledges and they set up more on those brush piles now they can either be in the brush or they can be on the outside of them but um, fishing a big worm or football head jig or crankbait in those uh, deeper brush piles is a great way to catch them in July. Now, when I'm talking about deep, I'm not talking about super deep. The, the ideal depth, in my opinion, is sort of that seven to 15 foot range. 
Um, one of the things that you're going to find in July is there's a percentage of the bass that are offshore. Some of them are suspended. Some of them are on the bottom. A lot of that depends on the water clarity and the species of bass. The more clean water you have and the more of a mixed species, like largemouth spotted bass and smallmouth you have, the more those fish are going to suspend. And the dirtier water, um, if you have primary largemouth, the dirtier water is going to keep those fish a little bit more on the bottom and they're not going to suspend quite so much. But anyway guys, that's the approach, that's the transition that I have found out in July. Either fish are offshore brush piles, either fish bluegill spawning areas and shallow stained water. And uh, that just probably the best way to catch them in July and August both. And it's going to work all the way up until, you know, first part of September and then we uh, got some other things that are working. So anyway, hope it helps you guys catch a few and we'll talk to y'all later.